this beautiful beachfront view disrupted a bit by these two large payloaders sitting on the sand just waiting to get working. Larry Lombardi lives in this building on Neptune Avenue in Long Beach, right near the construction equipment for the city's beach protection project. I think it's about time. I think they should have done it a long time ago, but I understand the surfers are a little upset about it, but, uh, you know, they, they could surf uh, in the street in the next storm. The Army Corps of Engineers is about to start rebuilding 15 of the worn rock jetties that jut out into the water. Long Beach City Manager Jack Schneerman says work will last through the prime summer months. It's a project decades in the making and critical to protect our shoreline. One thing we want to assure our residents and visitors is that our beaches will absolutely Absolutely be open this summer. But he says certain areas will be temporarily off limits. Public Works Commissioner John Mirando says crews will work on the jetties two at a time. He says they're trying to keep construction areas small so that impact on the public is limited. If there's work going on in a normal access point, they may just have to move down one access point. Long Beach got hammered during Superstorm Sandy. Mirando hopes this project will help protect the city in any future storms. The city expects this phase of the project to be complete by June of next summer, so 2018. Sometime after that, they expect phase two to begin. That includes sand replenishment and building dunes along the boardwalk. We're told the view from the boardwalk, though, will not be impacted. In Long Beach, Long Island, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.